MSI just barely released a new mini PC. There's a pretty cheap Alienware gaming PC with a 4090. The RTX 4080 Super graphics cards are basically non-existent. Windows 11 is gonna be changing color management. AI piece hype bubble is swelling, but software support is lagging in the market. Big opportunity for people that are into the coding scene. This little thing right here, I just thought was super cool and wanted to share it with you. There's a new AMD CPU that's pretty bad for gamers. And then this right here, Pal World is actually in trouble. And Nintendo is sadly going to actually be taking action and suing the company for reasons I genuinely have no idea about. The MSI QBN ADL is going to be coming with the N100, which has four E cores and only six watts. So now you can't be complaining about your power draw from your computer if you get this thing. So if we scroll down here, it goes over everything with the ports. You got that, you got the audio jack, you got the USB, you got the USB C, the power button, and then you got two one gigabyte LAN cables, more USBs, a display, and HDMI cable, and then the actual power unit. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it so much, you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like one percent of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So I'm actually going to be grabbing one of these and we're going to be doing what I love to do with these little mini gaming PCs and we're going to test out some emulation on them. The least expensive version of an RTX 4090, it's going to be coming with the 7950X, Windows 11, the 4090, 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 2 terabyte NVMe, and then a 1 terabyte hard drive, I'm guessing. The next thing here, RTX 4080 Super not being in stock. I personally already knew this was going to happen. I don't know how many of you like actually thought you'd be getting one of these for MSRP because let's be honest, bro. At what point in the past, th I want to say four years, like when did like COVID actually hit? It's been like three to four years at this point where MSRP has just point blank meant nothing. Zero. It hasn't meant anything for like four years now. So I just, I can't believe that, uh, whatever the color management settings um i just thought that this was kind of cool that they're actually going to be changing this stuff i'm still personally waiting that's a poo resolution um let's go over here and see what it looks like uh oh my god it's still poo resolution but either way i'm still waiting for them to actually support like let's say fan speed in your computer rgb in your computer overclocking your computer benchmark software fps counters i'm still waiting for them to like add all this stuff and with xbox not really being in the picture anymore oh if you make me disable my ad block i'm not even gonna i'm literally just gonna skip this article okay so the competition between companies so i'm not gonna read this is a really 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 long article so i'm not gonna read over everything so this is what we can look forward to in 2024 we have the amd zen 5 ryzen 8000 series yes i'm fully aware the 87 and 8600g are already out now but um we're not like at 8750x or 8700 or 8600 you know what i mean like at least as far as i'm aware um but the, the 87 and 8600G, the, the CPUs from AMD that are actually whatever, like for like, for like these little mini computers, which I still need to sell. And I keep forgetting to list it online. I keep, <laughs> your boy gets really off topic pretty, pretty uh, quick here. So the, the, the next uh, topic is Intel Arrow Lake 15th generation core ultra this is definitely going to be coming at the end of the year which dude intel do not release another refresh can you imagine can you imagine that if they did it four times in a row <laughs> if they did it four times in a row bro i just feel like what do you mean bro so anyways, that's definitely going to be coming towards the end of 2024. Uh, so the AMD 7, 700 series and then Intel 800 series chipsets and motherboards. So one thing that we can really expect with the new motherboards from both Intel and AMD is the one is the Gen 5 NVMe and some of them are probably going to start developing Gen 6 NVMe. We're also going to be getting like, because I'm pretty, I forget what company it is right now that's offering it but there i, I want to say xfinity is offering like 20 gigabytes per second internet speeds 
like we're not talking about gigabyte internet speeds anymore we're talking about like 20 gigabyte internet speeds and that's not to be fair i don't even think the z790s support that right now i know the new phones with the wi-fi 7 and stuff have it but as far as like the LAN cable i don't think there i could be wrong about that i'm not testing whatever my LAN cable i'm not benchmarking my LAN cable so the amd radeon rx 8000 series of gpus so that's the end of this article so this right here dude i know that i keep sharing ai and i know a lot of you may not be interested in it but dude i just am so excited for ai in the computer market one because I'm running a PC building business and I know AI is not going to take over what I'm doing until there gets to a point where we have a motherboard and a CPU that literally does everything for you. And I think we're still quite a ways off for that. Like what I'm, what I'm talking about here is that like AMD's 8700G, you know, those are actually capable of playing games at 1440p right now. So there is going to get to a point where AMD has a cpu that you plop into a motherboard and poof you now have a computer so nobody's gonna like care about people like me building them a computer but either way the reason i'm saying that is because what i'm doing ain't going nowhere for quite some time uh, but really this is pretty whatever i wanted to share this for people that are into coding or into SaaS, like soft software as a i, I did so okay so uh, software as a service all right so basically what that is is like extensions for google chrome extensions for your phone extensions for vr headsets or like shopify as an example for people that are doing shopify and doing drop shipping like these other programs that you or whatever applications inside of shopify that you can get to make whatever listing items easier or extra payments or automatic website design or pretty cool i just thought that this was neat it's it took steampunk or it took 34 people in order to build it and i just wanted to share it i thought that that it looked pretty cool and i think that this is pretty sweet how like these are actually the the thermals of the computer and you get your processor right here you got your, your graphics card right here i just think that this is super 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 cool um so this right here amd's new eight core cpu is pretty bad news for gamers 4.6 gigahertz boost clock 5700x however the ryzen 5700 only has 16 megabytes of l3 cache compared with 32 megabytes on the 5700x that means that the new ryzen 7 5700 is going to spend a lot more time accessing slower main system memory than the 5700x and this has a dramatic impact on gaming frame rates so hardware unbox made a video on this and they put the new cpu through its paces and our starting lack of cash having a significant impact on performance hitman for example the ryzen 5700 averages 146 fps compared to 178 fps with the 5700x and then the same thing for cyberpunk 99 fps to 112 fps so if you're looking for a cpu definitely don't grab the 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 normal 5700 so this right here pretty basic and simple for me to actually cover pal world's actually in trouble by nintendo i genuinely do not understand this whatsoever dude as far as i'm concerned the only thing similar to these games is that it's an open world pokemon type game where you throw balls in order to capture things i'm just saying bro but that's the end of the video man let me know what you guys think about all this stuff i'll catch you guys in the next one peace